with 2024 being the peak supply year, does that lend itself to more opportunities for people looking to get into and purchasing properties at deep discounts? Absolutely, 100%. Let's say that the supply was normal. It wasn't elevated. Even then, I think 2024 would have gone down in history as one of the best entry point years into the multifamily market space. Before we continue, let me take 60 seconds to tell you about Multifamily University. Are you ready to take your real estate investing to the next level? Look no further than Multifamily University. Our comprehensive resources, including guest podcast appearances, educational webinars, the Real Estate Trends Toolkit, and the Location Magic course are all designed to make smart investing easy and accessible. Plus, with no subscriptions, no upsells, you can trust that we're always looking out for your best interests. But don't take our word for it. Check out what our satisfied customer, Carlos M., had to say. Neil's presentation was filled with invaluable information that is not readily available to the average investor. This group takes you to the elite level of investing. Join the ranks of the elite with Multifamily University. Join us at multifamilyu.com and start investing from a place of knowledge today. Not only will you have access to a wealth of knowledge from industry experts, but you'll also be able to stay ahead of the game with our in-depth analysis of market trends and potential recessions or corrections. Invest with confidence and make informed decisions based on data, not gut feel. Don't miss out. Visit us at multifamilyu.com today or click the link in the description below. And now back to the content. But that would have happened even if supply was not elevated, right? So in, in those 15, 20 top hot markets, you're actually getting even better deals because when you have negative rent growth and you're out there to sell your property, you're going to get a lower price. For a moment, let's step back and say, why is 2024 such a great year? Well, to do that, I want to contrast the two big real estate markets. 